Hi. I've been busy the last couple of days, or like I guess the last week, so I haven't really been online a lot. Um, our musical opened last Thursday, so it shows Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and now I'm really sick, so that's always fun. But, yeah, life is good, pretty much. Um, this week is way less stressful than last week, so that's really nice. But I still have a lot of homework to get done, and a lot of stuff to do before spring break, which is in two weeks. Casey, I hope you're having fun back at school. Um, I didn't watch your video that you uploaded on Thursday because my computer or something hates me and like I've tried a million times and it just won't let me watch it. Every other video I try to watch works, but it just won't. So I'll try again later, but and hopefully it will work, but that's really annoying. So anyway, I hope you are liking school. So the Oscars were on Sunday and I always really love the Oscars. I always go to an Oscar party at my grandma's house. Um, and this week our theme is, has to do with Oscars. I have all of the things here on my iPod Touch from Martin's video. My five favorite movies of the year. This is really hard because I don't really remember, but I look back because I keep track of all the new movies I saw in 2009. Um, Coraline. Was, I loved Coraline. Up. Julie and Julia. September Issue. That was a, was a documentary, but it was about um, the editor of Vogue and what was the last one? Princess and the Frog. I realized that's like three animated movies. Whatever. The movie that most surprised me was it's complicated because I went to see it and thought it would be the stupidest like waste of money ever but it was hilarious um, and I enjoyed it. It was not like a quality film but it was really funny um, and the biggest disappointment movie was definitely Avatar. What movie did everyone like except for me? Um, Avatar again um, what movie of 2009 made you cry the most? Probably Up. I don't usually cry during movies, but Up, I guess, I don't know. Um, movie of 2009 that had the best score? I think Sherlock Holmes. The opening of Sherlock Holmes, at the very beginning, is amazing. And, I don't know, so yeah, I'm gonna say that. Movies I like and didn't already mention, Ponyo, The Glorious Bastards, uh, The Time Traveler's Wife, The Hannah Montana Movie, Absolutely. I'm only kind of kidding. Only kind of. Um, there's something else. I can't remember it. Never mind. Oh, Star Trek. It was Star Trek. Yeah, I liked Star Trek. <laughs> and then movies from this year that I haven't seen but need to see is basically everything that was nominated. Because I barely saw any movies this year and it's terrible. Um, on Oscar night I actually made a list in my phone of all the movies that were nominated that I need to see. So I'll read them to you. Up in the Air, Crazy Heart, The Last Station, An Education, Nine, The Young Victoria, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Coco Avant Chanel, um, Precious, The Blind Side, and A Serious Man. So I need to see everything, actually. That's about it. I'm going to stop recording because I sound even more like a man right now than I normally do. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, anyway, Shannon, I will see you tomorrow. And all the rest of you have a good week.